All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is me, the RuneScape Felon, and just a few weeks ago, I maxed my account. Considering that the last real video I made for this account was me trying to get a Rune Scimitar as a hardcore Iron Man, I think it's safe to say that we've come a long way. As you can see, I'm just a few hours short of 9,000 total hours played on this Iron Man. I don't usually play in this uh, fixed mode, so uh, this looks very strange to me, but it seems like it was the best option for this because it kind of hides what's in my bank. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's start with the very first tab. I'm gonna go over some of my spoons, some of my dry streaks, my goals for the account, but first and foremost, let's see the loot from 9,000 hours of playing Iron Man mode. All right, it is worth noting that I haven't actually organized my bank in a very, very long time, except for a small amount of tweaking for this video. First tab is pretty much junk and stuff that I really don't see immediate use for, but need from time to time or might want in the future. That's going to be a recurring theme here. I mean, I am an Iron Man. You, you, you'd rather keep things just in case than get rid of them, you know. But uh, 42 mil cash stack, that is the lowest that it's been in years because I recently, uh, like I said, I maxed and I souped my house up a lot. Uh, but I got like a 60 mil out tab or more right now. I'm not overly concerned about that. The beautiful max cape here. This thing is just outrageously OP. Plenty of spades that I gathered from clue scroll hunters. No, I'm totally kidding. That's just probably from shoving them in the chest at Chambers of Zarek over and over again without realizing it. General tools, the leftovers of logs from uh, maxing. I almost threw these out and then I remembered that one of my next goals and long-term goals on the account is all clue scrolls completable. So I will be needing these for all of the stash units. Not looking forward to buying more gold leaves. Plenty of pots and all that stuff. Got some diary gear in here, some long bones, and of course, just the ancient ceremonial crap. I really need to get some more crystal shards. That is just preposterous. I've got strange device, and sometimes you'll see some newbie items throughout the bank that are related to clue scrolls in one way or another. I don't remember why I kept this clean cloth. I know when I was a noob and way before the blowpipe nerf that I used to use this to clean any poison darts that I got. So that I could use them in my blowpipe because I didn't have a good smithing level. But I don't think I really need it now. I just have this half memory of it being a real pain in the ass to get. And, uh, you know, iron, by the way. Uh, I got a flam tear bag. I don't know what it does because I haven't used this in years. I did Shades of Morton way before the rework just to get the amulet of the damned for the clue scroll. So, uh, one day, I'm going to figure out what that does when I go back for collection log slots. I uh, don't really need Impling Jars anymore. I finally got my Ranger Boots at 700-something caskets. Um, and your diary gear, and yes, I do have the Kander and Headgear 3, even though I'm maxed, because I don't like Barbarian Assault, so there's that. I'm gonna go soon, so get off my back about it. 54 Ike Key Shards, just a bunch of junk in the first tab. Let's get to the exciting stuff. You all know what we want to see first and foremost, the Melee tab. Here we go, alright. You might notice, first and foremost, the Elysian Spirit Shield. That is a completed Elijah Spirit Shield on an Iron Man, and to be quite frank, I leave that as the first spot in my tab. I just swapped them so it wouldn't be a giveaway. Anybody who's ever hung out on my streams already knows that I got it. I got an Elixir at 14kc, I got the Sigil at 15kc. Can we see a pink bright light? This will be amazing if we do. Is it going to die one day? What happened? Okay, there we go. Any pink lights? In the no way. No way. There's no way. Dude, there's no way. There's no way. 15kc. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way! There's no way! And I got the Spirit Shield at 21. So, uh, Spoon is a little bit of an understatement. I like the, I like to think of it as Jagex saying, we're cool, bro. Um, two out of three for the Torva. Got the top and the bottom. This is my second Nate is not face guard. I'm out to my first one for a, uh, stream forfeit. And I ended up getting pretty spooned on the second one, so I was happy with that. Uh, other than that, not quite max melee. I don't have any Desert Treasure 2 rings. That's one of the near future goals, so I'm still rocking the Zerker. Uh, if not the Light Bear at all times, you know. I've got each one of the Karis Partisans ready to go just in case, but I'm an Iron Man, so I really don't use this one. Uh, i got some of my skill capes over here on the side, mostly for aesthetics. Two out of three for Justiciar. Got my Magma Helm here that I got spooned on. It was 421 KC for the uh, Blaze Helmet. If only it would have been one earlier, right? I do own the Infernal Max Cape. Unfortunately, I've only, only succeeded in the Inferno one time. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Yes! Yes! Let's go! Yes! I just woke up everybody in the neighborhood, man. Yes! Yes! I did it! Uh, and died like 10 times to Zuck and Waves right before it uh, ever since. So, probably got spooned on that one. Uh, you know, the usuals. 
Plenty of Zami Spears and Hostas all been shoved in Death's Coffer. As you go down, I've just kind of got my Barrow sets. I've got my Blue Blood Moon, and I have the other set somewhere. I'm only missing two pieces from that. I really enjoyed that content. I got very, very strung out on that content. Uh, I got a Ring of Stone for Seracnus. I've got a Berserker necklace ornament kit because it's a really... I don't see that necklace often, and I got the ornament kit. And when I typed it on the wiki, I was like, damn, I don't think I've ever seen this necklace before. So I went and got an Onyx, and I went ahead and made it. The old upgraded G-Maw. You already know. You gotta have it. Uh, a Swift Blade. That was a fun grind on an Iron Man, considering that I'm a guy who is, uh, you know... You may or may not know this, but I tilt pretty easily. <sighs> oh, man, I just broke my laptop screen. Damn, man, I was just kidding. Bro, I didn't even hardly... I broke my laptop screen, dude. That's it. Uh, I got my absolute Chad loadout here ready to go. Just in case. You never know when you're going to need it. You know, I still don't understand why the uh, dragon helmet is a different shade of pink than the rest of the dragon armor. It's pink as opposed to red. Really weird. But you got to keep the Chads on lock. You know, you got to keep the Chad outfit. Uh, this mold belongs over there. A Bandosian component for when I finally get that Torva helmet, because you might notice I don't have any more Bandos, but that's fine. I saved this for the Torva helmet one day. Got spooned on some Dragonstone plate legs and all that good stuff, and the rest of it's mostly like junk, alkables, stuff I might need one day. I bought these rune gloves forever ago for wilderness, but now I just use Barrow's gloves. I mean, come on. Uh, Tyrannical ring. Just pretty much the usual, man. I got plenty of salve amulets. I need to go get more, honestly, but uh, the top grind will begin soon now that I'm maxed. I only recently finished my Darox armor set. That felt amazing. I was like, actually, I can tell you. It was 1, 000, 1,394 KC for my Darox helmet, which was the last one that I needed. And I had the other three pieces since like 100 chests. So it was a little bit brutal. Got an extra Bandos boots for when I finally get a Black Tourmaline core. And when I finally stop being ass at the Coliseum, get me some Echo Crystals. But overall, I'm very happy with this. Um, it's, you know, I'm getting very close to a max strength loadout. Uh, if you're not considering the Scythe, and instead the one-handed weapons, it's, it's pretty close. You know, I need the helmet, I need the Ultor Vestige, uh, and we're about good to go. I did also happen to get some Gilded Boots from an Elite Clue. I think that's the only Mega Rare I've ever gotten on the account, but it is part of my Flex Fit. 30,000 charges in the Blood Amulet at the moment. Got the Dragon Warhammer, got two of the four God Swords. Still looking for that Zami one for the Clue. That's on the goals in the near future, but uh, pretty good melee tab. I like it, and we will be coming back through shortly so I can show you guys the value of every individual tab as well. For now, let's move on to the Mage tab. Boom! This one looks so much more organized than it really is. Got my Mage Cape for the swaps right at the beginning, even though I usually use the Max Cape now. Uh, a Staff of the Dead that I got when I was still a hardcore Iron Man, like 8 or 9 KC from Zami. To this day, still would have preferred the uh, Zami Hilt, not gonna lie. Got my Ancient Staff, Ice Ancient Scepter, Blood Ancient Scepter. I've gotten the other Quartzes, but who the hell is ever gonna use those things, you know? Now that I threw them away, I'll probably need them one day. They'll release some content where they're relevant. I do have a saying, I got my Tridents, you know, just kind of been decreasing uh, power here down to the Ivan Staff. Ignore the strange amounts of battle staves, and they're also scattered throughout the bank. You know I'll hold on to them for Alking. Uh, Master Wand, no Kodai yet. Um, plenty of house tabs, which I don't need anymore because I've got 99 construction. My rune pouch loaded out with, uh, looks like, I don't know what that spell is. It looks like thralls, but then I put some chaos in there. Uh, yeah, the rune setup is pretty nice. The only thing that I ever really had it for was so that I could withdraw these four and put them in my rune pouch because that's totally covers all your basic elemental standard spellbook teleports. But now that we have configurations, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I did have 186,000 day alt essence at my peak. That is the main way that I got 99. These 1,000 Wrath Runes have never crafted a Wrath Rune, I don't think. They're strictly from PVM, as are most of these runes. Almost all of these runes came from PVM. Um, or in the case of the Blood Runes, the Scar Essence mine, because I don't really like Blood Rune crafting that much. Um, and that's how I did it. Let's see here. Got the Ward, no Arcane yet, although I do have an Ellie, so I've got to go back to Corp. Matter of fact, I had the Ellie before this came out, and so I thought I was done with Corp. Then this comes out, and they were like, I'll do it again. Uh, Book of the Dead, the standard stuff. My max already cape for farm runs and stuff. I got all Zenites completed, as you can see. The two pieces of Ancestral I have are the top and the hat. Top right there, hat right there. I don't know why this is organized this way. Probably because I use loadouts. Um, I used to wear this as my fake Torva. It's just skeletal, and I would just meme and say, Hey, look, guys, I just got full Torva. But normally people would just say grats, because I don't think they knew what that armor actually even was. So we got my Ramus of the Eye, so I've got most of the skilling outfits. This was important. This was the main reason that I grinded out Eclipse Moon, or Lunar Chest as hard as I did on release. Because this is required for a clue scroll. So I'm very happy to have gotten that. I've got plenty of burnt pages. And you might note that I've got a Tome of Fire right here. But it, for years, has been completely full. So, Tome of Water is not full. But I don't know when I would ever use it. We'll see after the uh, reworks to defense and all that. But it's a scattered, strange 
Magic tab. I guess this stuff is for a clue. I don't know. I know that's why I have this crozier here. 16 ancient icons going dry for the Venator Bow, but I did finally get the Venator Bow. Um, a lot of this stuff just pertains to runecrafting, magic, and teleports. That's kind of what this tab is in general. And I'm still holding on to these rusty, dusty, crusty, but admittedly trusty Aram's robe skirts over here. I am sick of these things. And I would really love to get Ancestral Robe Bottoms as my next purple at Chambers if they don't want to give me the Twisted Bow. Alright, that's about it for my Mage tab. I've got a pretty good Mage loadout. Oh, one more thing. You might notice I am actually missing Eternal Boots. And there's a reason for that, okay? I've got an Eternal Crystal. I've had Eternal Crystals for years, right? But the issue is that... Mage Training Arena sucks, and they're updating it, and I was going to max 99 Runecraft with making Eternal Boots, but then they released that they're going to make Mage Training Arena a lot better, so I was like, never mind, I guess I'm just going to do this the other way, and I'm going to wait for that, but then I will have the full set of the kicks. Let's get to the range tab. Range cape right off the rip. I just dropped a ton of my bows and unstrung bows yesterday for some low-level guy because I was cleaning up a little bit for this video. But uh, I got three imbued magic short bows. I got, for some reason, 1,100 regular magic short bows. My Venator bow that I love and I'm very proud of. 2,600 magic long bows. Uh, for whenever I run with 25 butthole squad PKing, you know, I die 2,600 times in an hour. So that's just about an hour's worth of PKing with my boy 25. Um, for some reason, I've still got these comp and ogre bows. I'll never do that crap again. Uh, two dark bows, surprisingly. I got the bow of Ferdinand that I got spooned on. Plenty of rune crossbows because you never know what's going to happen in the wilderness. Carol's crossbow. Dragon hunter crossbow. Zerite crossbow. That is a huge one. That's one of my favorite weapons that I own. I've got the blazing blowpipe, which is the uh, normal blowpipe, but with the recent, most recent League's uh, cosmetic kit on it. i got some mithril grapples. I don't know why I am hella done with armadillo, as we will see in a second. Uh, plenty of rune arrows, probably from Corrupted Gauntlet, don't know. Plenty of amethyst arrows that I made not that long ago. Reasonable amount of dragon arrows that I've collected over time because the Venator Bow is pretty much the first bow I've ever actually had that could use them. Dark Bow technically can, but why would I? Um, some dragon thrown axes and knives that I got as rare drops across the way. Uh, Mithril darts, I use this mostly for tagging when I'm doing barrage tasks, but now that the Den's Bulwark has that special attack, it's not as relevant. Um, Adamant darts, who even needs them anymore? Rune darts, who even needs them anymore? I don't know why I'm keeping those. A wide array of bolts here. I got all kinds of bolts, all kinds of enchantments. Starting off with the sapphires from Muspa that I had left over. I'm sure one day I'll go back to Muspa. My plain Addy bolts, then my upgraded Addy bolts, my plain Runite bolts, and, uh, well, unfinished. And then my upgraded Runite bolts, and then my dragons. And I made these dragon diamond bolts years ago, and I still haven't used them. That was just a really dumb move on my part. Pretty much anywhere that I'm going to want to be using ruby dragon uh, dragon bolts, I'm going to want the ruby proc. So all of my dragon bolts now get turned into rubies, primarily for Nex as well as Solo Ohm, even though you get diminishing returns on that. I keep the Dragonstone Bolt tips because I do like to kill some things with these Dragonstone Bolts. They are great on Basilisk Knights. Rune Throne Axes for Dagonoth Kings. Got my uh, Anguish with the Ornament Kit on it, of course. Ring of Endurance, I got spooned at 100 KC, and then I got another one at like 130-ish, I want to say. My Archer's Ring, my Buckler, my Twisted Fuckler. I uh, got my Pagasians, and I do have full Fortified Masori, and this is what I was talking about earlier, about how I got super, super spooned at Armadil. It is egregious. I got a full set plus an extra chest plate and, like, an, a stupid low amount of KC. Uh, so that was enough to fortify an entire set of Masori and keep the Armadil helmet for the Master Clue. So, uh, see ya wouldn't want to be ya. Obviously, I got my crystal because you've probably already noticed that up here in my bow section... None of these are twisted. It is unfortunate, but I'm also not at drop rate. I'm dry for a mega rare, but I'm not dry for the twisted bow in particular. Um, plenty of dehyde for various clues, and if I ever want to alchem or whatever, I could probably realistically get rid of some of these, but I'm not tripping about it. I uh, keep some god dehyde in the bank in case I die at next, which happens more often than I would like to admit. I don't know why I have this Carol's Coif. I'm assuming I kept it for future possible wilderness activities, but I just realistically don't see that being in any of my wilderness loadouts. Uh, my max capes, my assemblers and such, the downgraded accumulator just in case. I got my cannon of 51,000 cannonballs. I AFK cannonballs a lot recently while I was working on Chronicles, but I also feel like a decent amount of those came from like Corp and Nex and even a few from the zombie pirates that recently came out. I got a backup Pegasian crystal in case I ever get more ranger boots, but I don't ever see myself doing a medium clue again. I don't ever want to do a medium clue on this account again as long as I live. There's that armadillo helmet for the clue. I got my void. What's missing from the void? There it is. The gloves right there. Uh, spine body, case I need them. You just never know. I keep a good stack of headless arrows for any dragon or, you know, whatever that I might get or if I need to make amethyst. These broad arrows are obviously from the 99 fletching grind. When I did fletch a boar, I was making those while I was doing herbivore. Uh, that should go in the melee tab for alchemicals. Ballista spring, never gonna finish that, I'm sure. 
More runite limbs. This is for a clue scroll, I think. I'm almost positive. I don't know why I would have this one random piece of ranged ammunition. Uh, I rock these while I'm casing for next. Killing them sometimes. Depends on if I'm bringing tour of or not. And, uh, of course, the new stuff. I'm almost out of Zora scales. Oh, my God. I hate to see that. I got 11,000 granite cannonballs. I use those at Corp. Um, but, yeah, I've only got two pieces of the Eclipse set. That's the only... I'm missing two from the entire green log. I need the helmet and the tacits here. But, uh... I don't really need them. I mean, come on, man. Like, I got my sorry and all this. I got pretty much every max range weapon in the game, except for Zerite Van Braces, Venator Ring, and Twisted Bow. I've got maxed out, so I don't need this, but uh, it would be nice to green log it. All right, let's get to the herb lore and supplies slash farming cooking tab. Well, I guess not cooking. That's the other one, but as you can see, I've got quite a wide array of herbs that I just keep up here at the top of the bank. I don't have a lot right now, but that'll make more sense when we get to the bottom of this tab. Plenty of land dimes, thousands, tons and tons of most of them. Very low on some, almost out of antidote, almost out of aventos, almost out of torstal, almost out of toad flax, uh, out of snapdragons, very low amount of ranars, only 400, uh, but we will see why in a moment. This is how the potion stacks look at the moment. That's how it looks right now. So as you can see, I pretty much just keep all the ones I mainly use up here. I don't really use super attack, strength, or defense no matter what. I know some iron men like to do that little combo to save it for them. I don't do all that, man. I just use super combats if I need them. Uh, so I don't really use those, but I keep them all here so that I can mix them with torsos when it's time. Just grab, 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 and I'll put the torsos down here or something. Um, very low on stamina potions because I am a hallowed sepulcher addict. So there's that. Uh, just made all these super stores back up to 1400, but I do have a whole lot more down at the bottom of this tab to make if I go get the red spider's eggs and stop being lazy. I'm down to only 700 prayer potions and 800 brews. That is somewhat a crisis, but it's not anything I have to handle in the next few days. Um, thousand ranging potions. I need to make some more anti-fires in case I go on a big grind for that. Almost out of anti-venoms, but I have 420. Oh, nice. I got 420 single doses of the anti-venom. That's, that's good. Plenty of snap and ranar seeds. I mean, this should net me anywhere from 1,500 to 2k at least of each of those type of seeds. Uh, each of those types of herbs. So I'm happy with that. No idea what my rogue set is in here, but I decided to keep it in here. I didn't move it. I got my vials of water here in case I need them. My empty vials right there for whenever I have to decant down to one dose. I don't want to pay that guy at the Grand Exchange any money. Here's two of the three or four Goblin Champion Scrolls I've gotten on the account. Again, don't know why it's in this tab. I got four of them going dry for the Bando's Hilt. So, yep. Just, I don't think I've... I might have killed him. Yeah, I think I did have three in here and I killed him once. So, that's probably why I've got two. But um, the rest of it's mostly junk. A bunch of junk. It's kind of scattered. I got sardines for the uh, Tower of Life. And then down here at the bottom is what I was going to talk about, is I've just recently started um, pre-mixing my potions and keeping them down here so that if any given time, you know, I feel like making some potions. Oh, uh, that was totally the wrong combo there. See, I got Dwarf Weed next to Wine Azami. I can just da-da, and I can, anytime I'm staying at the bank or whatever, don't know what to do for a minute, just thinking, make a few potions, no big deal. I also underwent the massive task last night of making 412 forgotten brews from scratch. So for those who don't know, that's grinding up Nile shards. And then adding Ancient Essence from Musk. It's a tedious process, and it's Dwarf Weed Potions, which are my Ranging Potions. But thankfully, I've got a good amount of Ranging Potions at the moment. I only ever use Bastions when I'm trying Inferno and generally failing in Inferno. Uh, so those don't really see a lot of use. I'm not really willing to cough up my very small amount of Vials of Blood here. How many do I have? Uh, only about 33.5 mil worth of Vials of Blood. And I know that's about 30 minutes in the site, so I'm holding on to that. But that is pretty much my Supplies tab. Um, if I didn't make another potion, I'd be solid to PVM for a few weeks. Except for my <laughs> stamina potions, man. Don't do what I did, man. Do plenty of rooftops if you're an Iron Man. Alright, let's get to the next tab, which is like supplies, resource gathering, mining, and crafting. Here we go. As you can see, I did get Spoon on a Crystal Tool Seed. I don't have a whole lot of Zolcano KC, but I also got the pet, so it was pretty cool. Plenty of coal, plenty of ore, which is kind of strange, because not too long ago during the maxing grind, I, uh, I mean, like, I was completely out of gold ore just two weeks ago, and I've already gotten this much. PVM is wild, but, uh... As you can see, I got it kind of organized. I got my Infernal Pickaxe, my Crystal Pickaxe. I actually made this so I could learn 3T4G. Uh, that didn't go too hot, so that sees no use at all, especially now that I'm maxed. Um, but these are the bars. I'm very low. You know I just got done maxing. Uh, the Steel Bars are a long-term project for Cannonballs, you know, because I might go for Champion's Cape one day. It's just something cool in AFK to do. I don't mind at all. Plus, I got the double ammo mold here. Uh, just a lot of general junk. 611 Golden Nuggets because CBA buying gem packs, and I don't need soft clay packs anymore after the release of Lunar Chess. Plenty of gems here, although I do need more Opals. I'm almost out of Dodgy Necklaces, and I'm not really sure if it's worth going out of your way to get a bunch of Opals to make Dodgy Necklaces, or if that'll, like, even save you time over just tanking, you know? Like, it feels like gathering these zero times is probably better 
honestly. But I want to do it, so I probably will do it. I wouldn't mind a little gem mining session. I might get the pet. Who knows? Um, plenty of gems, though. Stupid amounts of gems. More gems than I could ever want or need. 11 mil worth of diamonds over here. I just, I, I'm probably just going to end up like dropping these for a drop party one day or something. We'll see. Got my various axes. If you see an axe below the tier of dragon, that just means that I'm keeping it in there in case I have a mutadile first in Chambers of Zeric. I can cut the tree and then drop the axe. I don't care about dropping a rune axe at all. Plenty of logs, sort of. Uh, just made all my mahoganies into planks for 99 construction, so they're dead. I have no idea why I've got 20,000 new logs. I would assume a chunk of that came from, like, did Zora drop them? I feel like a chunk of that came from the giant mole, but I'm truly not sure. Uh, magic logs that I've never, ever cut. Got my prospector. All good. Plenty of skilling outfits here. I don't really use a thieving cape anymore because I just wear the maxing cape when it's time for that. And also, my uh, max cape has craft teleport set, so go to the crafting guild. Buckets of sand. I guess that's Bert. My boy Bert coming in clutch every day with the 40 buckets of sand. Stardust that I, again, I'm too lazy to go trade in for anything that I don't actually need on the account. Uh, flex flax, you know. You just got to show that you picked by hand 80,000 flax. No, that's definitely Zora flax. Battle stays in case I need them. 2,600 water orbs that I think I got exclusively from the lunar chest grind. I've got plenty of amethyst just sitting in the bank just in case I need to make one or the other. You never know if I'm going to need some arrows or some darts or what. I did finish the smith's gloves. And also, as you can see here, the uh, Weiss teleport for player-owned house and my Nexus is under construction. It's underway. I'm probably going to finish that tonight or tomorrow. I just got the uh, Trollheim one in, and I'm being pretty lazy. So 500 more basalt, and then it's easy peasy after that. Also keep my molds in here, and as you can see, my Mutadile axe. But that's a pretty solid amount of crafting and supplies. Should keep me going for a while. Next, we got the fishing and food tab. This one's not particularly impressive or anything. I don't even know where I get these dark crabs. Probably for Wildy Slayer or something. Summer pies that I'll probably never use again. 99 agility, by the way. Got my cooking cape in case I need to cook. And I do have a few thousand of each fish. Nothing outrageous. I'm not Mudkip, you know, with 450,000 blondes. But uh, I got a few thousand. I got enough to last me a couple weeks without having to do it again. And I've got spirit flakes, which I now use at Anglerfish. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Hot take. I use spirit flakes with Arata's Blessing at Minnows when I need sharks. And it's like 700 raw sharks an hour. So you can call it a waste. I'm going to call it. I love it. That's, that's all that matters to me. I got a few raw anglerfish left to cook, but I'm at over 1,400, which is great because I only use anglerfish to pre-pot certain bosses. So that's 1,400 runs of, of raids or something right there in anglerfish. That's a pretty good... That's a twisted bow as far as I'm concerned of anglerfish. Always getting raw mantis passively and stuff, but it's a good little food tab. Dig over the spirit angler and all that stuff. And um, I guess wine counts as food. The ashes are just from when I was a low-level Iron Man uh, making serum 207s or whatever they're called. I don't need those anymore, but... And then over here, this is, these last two tabs are kind of weird, okay? The last two are a little bit weird. Because it's just kind of stuff that, like, I need sometimes or might need, you know? Some of it I think it's clue scroll related, but, like, I got a clue box, okay? Which I got from Last Man Standing, obviously. But I bring that when I have an elite or a master and going to the wilderness. Not, not hard clues. It's not worth it. Uh, I got Tarn's Diaries, which I think I only needed one of ever. But I didn't know how it worked, so I grabbed three. My Clan Vex wanted to invite people. My extra Pharaoh Scepter that I keep for going to TOA. I do have an Occult Altar. I do not have a third one, though. Keep that next to the Minifite suit for the Clue Scroll step. 15,341 Dynamite that I've never done anything with and never will. I don't even know what that's worth or anything. 9 mil, just passively as the shit drop from Chambers of Zeric. I've got Trading Sticks, but I think I get in there now free if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken on that, but I think that like with Karamja Elite, you get in free. Fishing Explosives for Kraken, which is one of my least favorite bosses to do, just because I don't like super, super boring AFK like that, honestly. A Rune Halberd for Alking. I got some Ogre Coffin Keys, Bone Sack. Um, all these Blighted Ancient Ice Sacks basically came from the new Undead Pirates. Those things are going to help me immensely on the Void Waker grind. That is that is absolutely incredible. I'm very, very happy about that. I did get an Abyssal Lancer and pretty much got everything but the pet at uh, and the eye thingy from Guardians of the Rift. Plenty of keys... Um, some lava dragon bones, but that's not for that's not for prayer XP. That's in case I mess up and bury one when I'm on the way to Phalo the Bard for the clue step. Lava scales. I don't remember why I have these. I feel like you don't need these for a clue step, but maybe grinding them up for super anti fires, I think, is a thing or something like that. Circle of Water. Love that. Uh, Warrior Guild tokens. Dead content because attack cape. And I did get an Ale of the Gods. I think I've actually gotten a few Ale of the Gods, and I really enjoy it. I think it's a funny animation. Crystal Chime. What the hell is this? Oh, this is uh this is for warp tortoises. Is what that is. You have to have that with you for warp tortoises, I think. I haven't done that content because I've got a saying. 
Um, I do try to leave my placeholders for my totems in here just so they don't bother me by going in the main one every single time. Cooking gauntlets, I can't remember why I have these now. Again, I feel like it's got something to do with a clue step or something. A few ancient shards, almost out. A bunch of side various Slayer stuff, Laren's keys, and a whole lot of these new bone things from Varlamore. And I don't know what any of them do. I know that these are some kind of a wine method. And I just, I, I don't care, you know? I'm glad, don't get me wrong, I'm not griping about it. I'm glad that they're there for other Iron Men, but for me, I don't need any prayer XP. There's nothing for it. I don't care about rank. So, great update, I assume. Not relevant to me. The gold necklace and the diamond bracelet are for Blue Scrolls. And then last but not least, we got like quest stuff that I feel like I might need one day. Just gear fear. I don't want to drop it. I got my stuff for going to pick seaweed, which I haven't done in like literally over a year. Some of the RFD fashionscape stuff, ice gloves, etc. The Book of Piracy. I got plenty of dragons medallions just in case. Um, and the Blisterwood Flail. But yeah, as you can see, you kind of get the, the theme of this. I got a Bob shirt for uh, whatever clues tier that is. Ring of Cheros. Um, I got my Vire over here. Got my Shadow and Ghostly, whatever you call it, Ghostly Robes, which I've got tons of loadouts of on my pier. I went and got like 50 of those. It took me forever. I uh, got my RD Knight cosplay. And look at this. Two out of four pieces of Evil Chicken, which I had by 100 sacrifices. So uh, I don't think that uh, Shelby or Dave know who I am, but hey, sit. No, I'm just kidding. Reasonable amount of bracelets of Ethereum. Never know if I'm going to actually get a weapon, in which case I will need to break these down. So I'm definitely not going to alk them. You uh, need the Revenant Ether as the fuel, so I'm just going to keep those just in case and try to hold on to this one as long as I can, even though I'm sure I'll get hit for it soon. I keep gold seals in the bank in case I need to recharge my Pharaoh's Scepter to go back to the Tombs of a Masket. I've got Vampire Dust, and this whole little cluster section right there is just from the era of when I was doing Hallowed Sepulchre. I don't need this anymore because I'm done with Hallowed Sepulchre, but um, I still loved Hallowed Sepulchre. It was absolute 10 out of 10 content. Some of my favorite content I've done in the game, even though it's frustrating. Plenty of strange old lockpicks from it. i got the Mod Ronin wig. Uh, crystal bow. That must be a clue step or something. I got these ancient totems because I convinced myself a long time ago that I was going to alk them. Like, I got them as drops, you know. But I just, I'm probably going to alk them and not bother going into the wilderness to actually trade them out. I don't think I need the plague stuff for anything. I got my Yu-Gi-Oh! dual deck because you just never know, you know. Spirit of the cards. Whoops, I just attacked that innocent bystander. Long rope. I think I need to use this in Darkmire. But it's just a bunch of junk here, you know. I got the charged ice as if I'm ever going to get the Muspa pet. A um, couple spirit shields left over just in case I need them. Two out of four pieces for the uh, Soul Reaper Axe. Two Chromium Ingots and probably a collective thousand or so kills of the Desert Treasure 2 bosses. So even if I get spooned a vestige, I can't do shit with it. It doesn't even matter. Um, and I also show stuff in here that's kind of work in progress. Stuff I don't really know all that much about. Like this is all the new food from the Hunter Guild. I, I don't know anything about this. I rage quit Hunter Rumors after uh, five Master Sacks with no seed in it. I got three seed and like 10 Rumors and I was like, nah, nah, I'm good. What do you need, 20 of them for every unlock? Nah, nah, I'm straight. But uh, it seems there have been some tweaks and advancements in that field since with the Hunter Rumor blocking. I'll look into it. Only got 782 Sunfire Splinters. I forgot to mention earlier that you probably saw my uh, Sunfire Fanatic legs. There they are. I did get Sunfire Fanatic on the same day that they updated it to make it to where you could get those drops from the lower wave. So that was fun. Felt very good. Reasonable amount of Blighted Splies in here. I mean, by reasonable amount, I mean like, you know, a couple trips. Um, but a lot of Clue Scroll stuff, a lot of unfinished business in here. I keep my Oculus Orbs in case I need to record anything for RuneScape Chronicles or whatever. Um, and any noob junk like Turquoise Road Bottoms and stuff, I always assume is something for a clue and will be gone on the day that I decide to buckle down and actually build all the stash units that I need. But you may have noticed something just a little unfortunate. No Twisted Bow, no Scythe, and no Shadow. Shadow is actually the only item I need at TOA now. Fuck that pet, give me that Shadow, give me these uh, ornament kits, and I'm out. I just need to complete these rows right here. That's good, I'm not worried about any of this stuff down here. I'm, I'm not worried about the pet, just give me the Shadow. Bro, please, give me the Shadow and these two kits, and I'm out. But uh, that is a bit of an issue. I'm a 2277 total Iron Man, completely maxed, with uh, well over a 1,000 raids under my belt. And uh, I think it's about time that I grind out a weapon. So if anybody agrees with that, feel free to post down below and say, we want to see a UIM Loki-style 1,000 Chambers of Zarek or Twisted Bow, whichever comes first. Although I also kind of want to get the Shadow first to make the, the Toa easier. I feel like, I mean, to make the Chambers easier. I feel like Shadow has bigger impact at Chambers than Twisted Bow has impact at TOA, but I might be wrong about that because I've never used either one on this account. In fact, I've never used a Shadow at all. I'm going to turn the bank value on, and without further ado, we will see the grand value of the bank 
of a maxed Iron Man at 9,000 hours. Okay, wait, after I get done dueling that guy. Okay. 4.34 bill, and I have to say that it has fallen uh, by about 200 mil in the last few weeks. I'm not sure what gear specifically is going down. I don't care because I don't keep up with it. But, um, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's going pretty well, to say the least. I'm pretty happy with this. I got a lot of big ticket items, even if not necessarily, you know, the really, really big ticket items. Um, plenty of things that I'm incredibly proud of, man, considering that I never thought that I would, you know, make it to Dragon Slayer on an Iron Man. A lot of my bank value is tied up in just a few items. As you can see, this is half of my bank right there in just a few items, but I mean, I guess that's kind of how it works, right? And it'll go up even... I gotta unequip this thing. I gotta unequip this thing. It'll go up even more when I finally get a Twisted Bow or a Scythe, right? But you thought we were done here, didn't you? No, 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 we're not done. Let's peep the house, ladies and gentlemen. The Iron Man maxed house. I've got a confession to make. When I grinded from 50 to 83 construction on this account, I basically vowed not to touch my house again until I got 99 construction. And I really haven't finished that project just yet, so bear with me. I've got what I need, all right? Welcome to the Casa de Felon. This is my little garden area, you already know, because I'm sure you've all got one too. You got your pool right here, you come over here to your jewelry boxes. Currently, I've got the uh, Abyssal Sire on display, uh, but I don't have a whole lot of jars. I think I've got three jars, maybe? Yeah. Kraken, Cerberus, and Sire, the only three that I've gotten this time. So, uh, in honor of the video, let's switch it to Kraken. Uh, you can see I've got a little observatory over here with a telescope, even though I have never bothered uh, trying to scout out my own shooting stars. I think that's what you use this thing for, huh? What's that? A very nice view of the wall? I mean, what do they expect me to do about that? Got a lot of teleports in my Nexus. I don't have them all. I've still got a few that I need to do. And like I said, I got to get the Weiss teleport. I have the Weiss teleport over here. But I haven't gotten the 1000 teleport version of it, which is what I need to put it in here. And once I do that, I'm ripping this room out. And whatever the top comment says this room should be dedicated to, uh, that's what I'll make it. Because I don't even know what to make it. Honestly. I moved all kinds of crap around here lately. But I got my pets over here. I think I've got 11 pets at the moment. I got this dead content room where I built a billion tables and I finally built an armor stand back here considering that I've been using an Aram's robe skirt for three and a half years you would have thought that would be one of my priorities it wasn't I didn't care uh Bob's done took my lunch money for bills and in this part we find why my cash stack was so low today I built the demonic throne this costs roughly 25 mil a little bit more if you're impatient and buy multiple marble stones per world which is uh definitely something that I did I also pulled a lever for the magic cage which was kind of expensive, but uh, nobody comes in my house and hangs out ever. It only recently was updated so that other people can visit Iron Men's houses, which is great for dropping duplicates. But um, it's not like I'm throwing a house party in here anytime soon. Most of my friends are also Iron and they can't come in here. So we also have a little bit of a dungeon down here featuring the classic Rock Gnar with the 2006 Sprite right there, the OG. Got a little Hellhound to hold things down in case you guys are feeling feisty. Plenty of spoopy vibes down here. Amount of treasure, zero. Add coins. You don't have any money. Okay, well. I do have a little dungeon I built just for the shits and giggles and because it was hella expensive. A little bit of a flex. Um, I just noticed right now that my poor uh, worker apparently can't get into his bedroom. Where is the door? I mean, it doesn't matter. He's still here and he's still working for me, so I guess it doesn't even make a damn. Or maybe he considers that his room, but whatever. It's a beautiful house. I'm very happy with it. I did get a Twitch comment that I need to upgrade my wall scheme because, like I said, I haven't even thought about this in years. I don't know. What do you think? I, I, I like it like this. I think it looks modern, but if there are other options, I'm definitely open. I'm open to feedback and criticism or whatever you want to call it, you know? Let's go take a look at the seed vault real quick. Find out exactly where I'm at on that front because I know I got a couple mil worth of, uh, a couple mil worth of seeds in here. I don't do farming contracts lately. I need to get back in. It's 46 mil worth of seeds. That is outrageous. Some of them I keep in my bank. You probably saw them earlier. If they're like certain herb seeds that I feel like I'm definitely going to be planting in the near future. I just put these torstal seeds back in the bank because I was planting them for a little while. Uh, but as you can tell by the amount of them I have in the bank, I stopped. Um, hops. I think I mostly use these for birdhouse runs, but I stopped doing birdhouse runs like two years ago. Uh, cry about it. Plenty of tree seeds, magic seeds, use seeds, all kinds of crap. Uh, I can do just about any seed that I want for quite some amount of time. I got some anima seeds. I'm running low on Iasaur seeds because I use them whenever I'm doing herb runs. And then I've even got a pretty good stack of saplings in here too. I mean, we're just all the way loaded up for whatever I might need to grow. Anywhere I might need to go. Anything I might need to do. It is the, uh, it's the maxed Iron Man with the four bill bank account. And I am really ready to uh, put it back on my normal screen mode. This looks ridiculous, but I was just doing it to hide the Ellie and the 
the second tab of gear. But uh, goals moving forward, man. I want best in slot everything. I need Desert Treasure 2 rings. I need Ancestral Robe Bottoms. I need Torva Helmet. I want a Void Waker. We've got big plans here, people. We've got very, very big plans. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be him. I'm going to be that guy. My RuneScape character just got his DNA test back, and it turns out he's 100% Himalayan, and they don't even exist in RuneScape. So that's my, how much that's how much him my character is, okay? Make sure you're following the journey over there on twitch.tv slash jpalald. I would really love to have you come hang out and watch these adventures, considering that I started streaming this account from Dragon Slayer. Some of the homies have been there from the very beginning, and uh, there's plenty more journey left to go. The sooner you get in, the sooner you become an OG, you know what I mean? Thank you, everybody, for years of support. Thank you for letting me do this. Shout out to my Twitch community who supported me to be able to sit on my ass and tell stupid jokes and silly stories and hopefully some inspiration and manage to play for 9,000 hours on RuneScape just on this account just since I've been out of prison. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. This has been the most marvelous experience of my video game life, man. This is something I wanted forever. I'm maxed. And I feel like the next journey is actually beginning. It's the next chapter, man. It's not the end at all. I can finally play the game. See you all on Twitch.